Yo, what is going on, Olympus fan? My name is GSQ Zeus. If you didn't already know, we were playing some Guardian on Foundation. I was actually around late into it, but um, I just got a couple things I want to talk about before I ran to work, so why not bump it out? Jesus, that was a strong shot. I'm going to go for this initial takeover. Nice, got it. Oh no, he's going to take it from me. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. I'm leader. Okay, screw you then. <clears throat> yeah, but guys, what I want to talk about is Gears of War 4 community standards as well as teams. YouTube guys. Hold up. I feel like I got a lot of viewers that are new to the, not necessarily the community, but like the YouTube side of things. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to do that. Oh. Oh, wow. That was crazy. Our whole, my whole team is just running these motherfuckers. Wow. <laughs> but yeah, so basically what I wanted to talk about is standards as well as teams supporting each other and how it works. Now, I've noticed one thing is that every team in the Gears of War community, it, they don't necessarily, I'm not everyone, but they don't necessarily support each other. And it's not out of negativity, but it's out of priority. I understand everyone has lives, and you know, people only are going to support the people they choose to support because when they get on the, you know, their phone or their computer, you know, they're going to go straight to their team. One thing, though, is just like we're all playing the same game, and like I think a priority should be to support majority of the people in the community and not just your team or people you know in your group, etc., simply because word travels fast and if we only keep it around if you only tell your teammates to support a video or to support your video that's the only audience you're reaching you know and like that's one thing that i just want to start bringing to my channel is i want to talk about what i am now and standards and like i just think like if uh, uh, as us as a community if all the teams that we have and hopefully more begin to create freaking if we all just came together and supported each other and created videos and made content like we'd look like such a stronger community and i'm not, I'm not saying we don't look like a strong community because right now we're looking really good everything's looking awesome but if all the YouTube teams that people happen to watch happen to work together and create content and have fun and spread love, like it's only gonna get better, yo. So it's like I just I wanna pressure that that's the next growth that we need to push into the community is just, you know. Oh, we downed each other. Are you serious? Oh, he's the realest, bro. He's the realest, bro. Yo, I hit him 20% in one shot. Come on, that's some bullshit, yo. 20% in one shot. So besides that, I have no one in particular, of course, but I just I, I just want everyone in the community to just start spreading more love and supporting each other as, you know, as a unit, as a community, because we're all playing the same game. We're all trying to create clips and have people see them. And the only way to do that and expand is by creating, you know, content and spreading love to the other people who create the game. What's up, dude? Oh. Yeah, yeah. So um, yeah, there's only one guy left, but um, I know this is a really, really short video. I'll probably come back in the next video, but um, I just really want to pressure this guy, cause I think like, I think Gears of War 4 is doing extremely well right now in the competitive scene as well as the YouTube scene, and like we could really push it to an even bigger audience if all the YouTubers or just the people who create content and have fun work together to make something even better. The next thing I want to talk about is standards, Gears of War 4 montage standards, because I know there's got to be a lot of new people coming into the community that are kind of lost and confused on standards. Yo, we're back Pat, blah, 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 blah. back with that part two, baby. Still got some things to discuss. We're going to put in some slaying work, though. Got to have that good gameplay in the background. Y'all already know what it is. Huh? I got a 1v at Nasher. First, N nades, y'all know I meant that. Yeah, guys, so um, th this most likely should be a two-part video, and in part one, I most likely uh, talked about uh, the community, team, supporting each other, and I'm going to be getting the standards in this one, guys. Oh, we're taking control right now. Let's get it, bro. Damn, that would have been a double. Let's 
go. They're gonna spawn right here, yo. That's one thing that's fucked up about this. He stole my freaking kill. I'm still in your kill. Yeah! See, you steal my kill, I steal yours. <laughs> But yeah, no, anyway guys, so the next thing I want to get into, the first thing was just obviously um, us all supporting each other, and I'm going to get more into depth, into detail on what I mean in the future, because I want to just start doing topics that relate to the community, not necessarily like a news drama channel, no, but I just want to talk about things so people could understand what's going on behind the scenes of YouTubers, as well as just everything we do. So, um, to get past that, though, the next thing I want to talk about was standards, like montaging standards, clip standards, all that. First, I gotta rush this guy. Oh, yeah. Damn, dude. Got crossed by a Markska. 19-second respawn. That's alright, though. It gives me time to talk. So, basically, standards, guys. Alright, I'm gonna give you a little story. Long time ago, um... I played Halo 2 and 3, I played on the professional circuit, I really wanted to do the full route, go pro, pro and everything, but um, I was playing baseball at the time also, so I decided to stop, you know, I, or stop going full-time player to, you know, continue playing baseball, focus on my schoolwork, just all that good stuff. Come here. So basically, on that note, um, when I came into the Gears of War 4 community, I had a little competitive background to me, but I played strictly for fun. And I started making videos, and everything I did was based on my knowledge. I didn't watch anybody's videos on YouTube. I didn't watch, oh shit, I didn't watch anybody on YouTube. I literally didn't even know Moo Moo Milk or S. I didn't know any of them even existed. I picked up Gears of War 3 when it first came out, and I was just really excited because I remembered playing Gears of War 1 and 2, and I was like, man, like, I should try making a YouTube, you know what I mean? So one day I went to Best Buy and they had an HD PVR2 in the front window. So I was like, oh hell yeah, I'm, I'm buying that, you know what I mean? So I bought it. So I started making videos, I started hitting quads and quins and stuff. I was, I've already been playing the game for like months, you know, I was getting, I was a pretty elite player. So I started making videos and I started titling these videos, random clips, EP. Because they were, they were random stuff that I hit and it was like an episode of clips and stuff oh my god oh that was crazy so um yeah yeah so um basically i started putting all these quads and quins in my videos and stuff and i started getting all this good support and people be like oh my god like how do you hit these clips you're so sick and but then i started getting these other people who would be like oh i almost just killed myself would be like man that's not a random clip yo that's a montage clip and i was like man what are you talking about like ah Yes. <laughs> so I'd be like, what are you talking about? And they'd be like, bro, you could save that for your montage and do like an overall EP and stuff. And like, you know, then, then I'd put a single with quads and they would be like, bro, that doesn't belong there. Like a, a, a single sniper shouldn't be in quads. But everything I did, I did it for fun because I love the game and I had fun doing it, you know. And it, it started to bug me a lot because people were like, you're undermining your clips to look better or blah, 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 etc. So let's just get to the main point. On that note, I eventually started changing the name of my videos to like montages or to, you know, EPs to, you know, clip videos just to get, um, to get less people being mad, being like, oh, this is either too good for randoms or too good for, uh, not being a montage. Dude, I am running in there right now. I can't believe I survived that. So basically, I just changed my ways. I started rechanging my uh, channel. I started putting in clips that, like, I just thought were overall pretty good in montages and in, in uh, EPs that would be called wall bounce EPs. Just everything, and I started getting a lot more exposure, a lot more support, a lot more love. And basically, the reason why I want to bring this up is because I've noticed. Oh my God! What the? What? Yo, game just lagged so hard, bro. The game just lagged so hard, yo. So basically, um, I learned that over time that like people in this community tend to, to, to hide themselves from the community because they go ahead and they save clips for a month or two, clips that are so sick, and then they ended up calling them random clips, you know, and nobody searches up random clips. So these players who deserve so much support and so much love end up never getting it because of the way they promote themselves. 
it's either like that or it's the opposite in which people put clips that don't get me wrong I got love for everyone especially new players all I want to see is this succeed but they'll put clips that don't necessarily oh god they deserve to be in a montage nice got him deserve to be in a montage and then they'll call it a montage and they'll get a bunch of views so basically what I just want to talk is about like of course this is just my opinion but the right way to do things I think this community could just have a lot more love and support if like we helped the people that were coming into the community instead of scaring them away with our standards. Oh, I didn't see that guy. I think we tend to scare away a lot of newcomers into the community because we hit trips, quads, and these quints and like these on-screen feeds and we do montages and it's like, I've been playing since Gears of War 1, guys. You shouldn't be able to just hop on Gears 4 and do what, you know, the montages are doing if you watch them. But the main point is, like, you should be able to upload whatever the fuck you want. We're all playing Gears, we're all playing the same game, we all have love for it. You should be able to upload it whatever you want and title it whatever you want. Don't get me wrong, clickbait is annoying, all that stuff is annoying. But in the end, like, we're doing this for enjoyment, not to, not to prove a name, not to, not to be egotistical, not to say we're better than anyone, at least that's my opinion. So on that note, I just I would like to see this community take a change and you know just kind of learn from the standards. Like there is no book of standards, guys. We don't have to abide to anything. We can do whatever we want and create content and have fun. The more you put yourself in a box to hit only a certain style of clips, to only go for certain things because that's what montages have, that's when you lost. That's when you 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 lose your creativity that it, that makes you who you are and it's everything. Damn, that guy really wants these nades. He's been going like every time, yo. And that guy's been at Marska like every time. But yeah, guys, the main point is like I just want to build confidence for people who are new to the community, and I want to show them that like I I will always be down. Like y'all don't gotta worry about anyone else. Like I'm here for support. And bro, I wasn't gonna kill you. I was just gonna down you, but now I'm killing you. Damn, no, I didn't. I get him? Ah, damn it. Nope. I didn't see that robot. He came out of nowhere. So on that note, so now we got the first video and this second video. It's basically um, team supporting each other versus standards. So now let's add them together real quick and explain. Now we have all these teams who have different styles of gameplay, national players, sniper players, you know, just certain styles that they like to create. And it, it goes back to the priority effect where I said, you're only going to support the people that you want to support, which partially makes sense to me man you just got put to sleep bro oh I'm trash I do all that and I miss all my shots when he's barely moving but um I just want to show people that it, it shouldn't matter like where we come from it shouldn't matter if you're a sniper if you're a nasher if you don't like the clips they do we all have our own opinions some people like to clutch some people hate seeing clutches some people you know are really into it and it's their favorite stuff some people only want to see sniper clips but that shouldn't change the support that shouldn't change the love for the game it, the only way this game is going to progress in a positive light is if we make it progress damn that bro got outplayed bro but um, guys, I just want to be the frontier to making this game progress. I'll do everything in my power to be positive and outshine the negativity as well as promote upcoming people who want to create YouTube. Like That's all I'm about, guys. Showing you guys love and expanding my love for the game as well as creating more for it, guys. And I'm all for the new guys. Where is this guy? Oh! <laughs> that was a random ass shot. Where is he, yo? But quick thing, guys, I really hope y'all discuss this with me. Put your comments in the uh, comment section. Really give me your opinions. Let me know what you would like to see me talk about because I want to start tackling uh, controversy in the community as well as fixing it or at least trying to. So let me know what you thought of what I said today if you agree with where I'm coming from and just generally everything I'm saying. Um, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Also, guys, if you're a new YouTuber and you're trying to get a shout out, a lot of you lately have been just asking me, like, hey, can I get a shout out? Please, please, please just send me clips on Zeus Reacts because I can't individually shout out people because it's not fair to people who ask me. Maybe I can start shouting out people from the comments at the end of my videos. Otherwise, much love, homies. Hope you enjoyed.